Hello student, I am Susil. In this video clip, we learned how you can use Morpher modifier. This modifier is used for facial expressions. Here I create a original teapot object and then create three more copies and modify them by using soft selection. If you want to modify them by using soft selection, first select this and then convert into editable poly. Select vertex mode, select a vertex and then enable soft selection by clicking on this checkbox and then increase fall off value and then move in the downside or upside like this so you can modify them now i turn off soft selection and then exit from the editing mode now i apply morpher modifier on the original teapot object so i click on the modify list and then scroll down little bit morpher modifier is applied first i collapse all the rollout First parameter is channel color related so I expand this and these are different different color. These color indicate morpher data and target morph is properly connected or not. If the channel list is empty, first I expand this channel list. Here you can see this list is empty and gray color is applied here. First I connect these target object. If you connect a morph target object in this list. This channel list starts showing green color label. I show you. For connecting a target object, right click here and then pick object from the scene. So I click here and then select first target object. Here you can see a green color light starts showing. Same as I right click here and then pick second object. Same as I pick third object also. If all the target object are properly connected with the original object, they start showing green color in the channel list if you delete any target object if i delete this you can see uh, now this channel list starts showing blue color it's mean container has morph data but that morph object is not available in the scene so first i undo now you can see this channel starts showing green color again this orange color for other type errors now i expand global parameter here is a use limit checkbox minimum value is 0 and maximum value is 100 if this parameter is checked you can increase value up to 100 and the minimum value is 0 if you increase the value for channel 1 you can see morph target 1 shape is applied on the original object same as if i increase value for second channel now you can see Second morph target shape is applied here and same as if I increase third value. Okay, so if you increase value up to 100, this object start tearing. So I reduce little bit. Now you can see third morph target shape is applied on the original object. First I right click here to reset these values and then uncheck this use limit checkbox. Now you can increase up to 100 or you can also decrease in the negative number so you can set these limit also so make sure this limit checkbox is selected now i collapse these rollout in the channel list you can add any number of morph target by default this channel is showing 1 to 10 number but you increase this slider you can see list range is increased now same as if you move this slider downside this range will increase now i move upside again next button for reload all morph target now i increase these parameter little bit like this and next button for zero if you want to reset all the morph target value you can click on the zero active channel values so all the parameter will reset by single click now i expand channel parameter it's a second method for applying morph target first i select this empty channel this one and then pick object from scene by clicking on this button so i click on the first and this object add in this list same as i pick other target object also now you can apply all three morph target shape expressions on the original by single parameter. I pick three morph target object here. So if I select 33 value here, 
100 divided by 3 means 33 so this value show first target object expressions same as if i increase 66 this target shape object will be applied same as if i select 100 percent so this object will applied on the original object you can also see these value here if i select target object 1 here you can see 33 if i select second object value is 66 and for third value is 100 percent if i delete any target object from this list if i delete this one by clicking on this delete target now you can see these value updated now first target 50 percent second target 100 percent now i scroll down and in the advanced parameter these option for spinner increment if you select 5 increment if i increase these channel values these value will increase 5 increment if you select 0.1 these value will increase in decimal values now you can see decimal values are there I select this one increment. These are all modifier related to Morpher. If you want to create a animation by using Morpher modifier, you can create. So first I reset all the values and then click on the auto button and then create a key and then increase the frame, then increase parameter value. I'm using progressive Morpher that I create by using this list progressive morph now i stop this recording and then go to first frame and play so this is the exact way that we want to use for melting this teapot if you like this video please hit on the like button if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section and if you want to watch other videos like this you can also subscribe our youtube channel now we meet in the next class mm -hmm.